in life that attracted me to come. I will tell you that you are having a very, very wonderful director. Not every school director will do what your director is doing. Uh, some school directors, they are not really after the, 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 the well-being of the students. Sorry to say, their own is just after the profits they want to make. But just only few directors have the kind of hearts that your director has. Your director is a man that has love for all the students and passion for all of you to become great people. He wants you to be great. He wants you to achieve your dreams. He wants you to be distinctive in all spheres of life. And so it's because of his passion for your excellence that attracted me to this place today. You too. So I wanted to give you this up for your direction. Very good. So when they hear the word art, the first thing that comes to their mind is drawing or painting. But that's not true. 
That's not the only thing about art. Art is a very, very broad field. It covers very vast aspect of human life. In fact, everything about human life, art covers it. And so, I will want to begin by trying to give us the picture of the scope. I want to give us one main picture, not that I want to draw anything here, but I want to make you see the scope of art. So that when we're talking about a student studying art, or should study art, I've taught for 19 years as a teacher, and I've discovered from my uh, research that many parents seem not to understand what the field of art is all about. That is why they discourage their children when they say they want to become an artist. Ah, well, an artist, oh, what do you do? An artist, you want to, how will you make money? You are going to be poor, you are going to be that, you're going to be wretched, you're going to be that. I'm glad what uh, our director just told us something. What this opportunity has availed so many students. Now, your wanting to know how to draw does not really mean that maybe you may eventually become an artist in future. Some of you want to become a scientist, you want to become a doctor, you will be a lawyer, you will be that and that, engineer and all that. That does not rob you of the need for you to have this knowledge of art. That is why when I'm going to be telling you the importance of art, you will know why you, even as a science student in future, needs this knowledge of art. Okay, let's begin by this. Let's take it from here. Art. Now, this is art. Art is divided into these various aspects. We have the fine art, we have which is also known as the visual art, okay? We have the cultural art, the cultural aspect of art, okay? Then under this fine art, we also have the arms of it. We have painting, we have drawing, we have sculpture. We have ceramics. We have textiles, or textile design. We have graphics, graphic design. We have pottery. And a whole lot of more. We have fashion design. We have the air style. Design. Okay. Okay. Put applied here. So I can put it in here. Okay. Under this fine and applied arts, we have all these fields, all these are uh, the examples of fine and applied arts. So you can see that when we talk about art, we are not just talking about draw. The first thing that comes to one's mind is drawing. Is it? When a child says, ah, Mommy, I want to study art. Ah, is it drawing? You want to go and draw in life? You can see the scope of it. Painting, drawing, sculpture, ceramics, textile design, graphic design, pottery, fashion design, hairstyle design, and so on and so forth. ETC.